Well, it's the final day of WCCO's summer road trip around Minnesota and Wisconsin. Frank and Maxie are about three hours west of the cities in Ortonville, where Corn Fest is getting underway. Can't wait to hear what Corn Fest is all about, but yeah. first we'll check in with the guys. Yeah, and they got the sunshine too, yes, they which do. is nice. Absolutely, it's uh, beautiful here, ladies, and it's not just Corn Fest. It's the 78th annual Corn Fest, and it's here along the beautiful shores of uh, Big Stone southern end of the lake which actually feeds in the Minnesota River and there's a big crowd here today and this place will just be packed Saturday and Sunday. You know, in fact when they first came to us and they said Frank and Mike we want to tell you more about Corn Fest we both said we're all ears Natalie and Amelia. <laughs> <laughs> when you come here for a weekend like this you need a place to stay and man there are many of them around here including a great resort we found today Rustling Elms. We paid a visit and found the owner Donna. She's just outstanding. She is a spitfire. It's picturesque setting and you can tell there's a lot of tradition here. Rustling Elms has been here for almost 100 years. They have a lot of families who come year after year. 150 feet of beach, nice cabins and seasonal and overnight RV parking. Five generations of the Johnson family has helped make memories for visitors and they hope to continue the tradition for years to come. And their beach is because of Big Stone Lake, which is of course the big draw in this area. Uh, today, some young 4-H'ers in the area were doing their part to keep it clean. We met the aquatic robotics group today. Now they actually use underwater robot gear equipped with a fishing camera to check for invasive species. It's a way to educate people in hopes of keeping the lake clean. And the 4-H program in Big Stone County, we're uh, proud to tell you, is thriving. They have about 200 members right now. And of course, when you have a healthy lake, mm. you get a lot of fish and a lot of different species. In fact, our viewers uh, voted Artie's Bait and Tackle Shop here in Ortonville is the best in Minnesota. They did, and so we said, well, that must be the guy who knows where the fish are. So He's today, Frank and I went out with Artie and his son Tanner to do a little fishing, a little friendly contest as to who could catch the most fish. We'll tell you how that went coming up in a few minutes. And there'll be some puns with that too, ladies. Yeah, yeah. I was wondering. We were wondering about that. That, that joke was a little corny, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Well done. I'll work with Take you on your lib. Thank you. All right. All right.